Hello everybody, welcome to Lighthearted Life and Collectibles. I'm Penny and this is my sweet reborn baby doll, Skylar, who is Maddie by Bonnie Brown and he is a portrait baby of my son who is now 29 years old. So I'm going to change him into a cute outfit and talk about a topic done by my sis Ashley over at Wonderful World of Reborns. So I'm going to show you what he's going to be getting changed into. We have these cute little Nike shoes. They're white and red. They're crib shoes. So they have the soft bottom. They do have a heart on them, which means they're probably girls, but boys can show love too. So he's wearing these. We're, or we're going to see. I think they'll fit his feet. They look like they will. And then he's going to put on this little burgundy cream and royal blue striped shirt with little wooden buttons and it has a hood and then we have burgundy pants to go with it and they got like little cuffs at the bottom and he's already got some white shoes on so we're going to leave those and then i brought my go baby mohair conditioning spray and a little brush over here so that i can fix his hair because he will have hat hair when i'm done Okay, my sis Ashley's topic is expensive coping mechanisms. And, you know, speaking about our dolls. So, I kind of want to touch on that subject. I will have her original video linked below in the comments. And I'm also going to share it on my community wall because it's definitely a video worth sharing. And it really caught my attention and I told her, I was like, I'm going to speak on this subject too because um, I think it is definitely something we need to speak about. And I want, just want to talk about how always, 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 you know, we are labeled a certain way because we have these dolls. You know, they want to put us in a box and put a label on it and say, you know, I've heard people... You know, they mean well, but they're trying to take up for us, so to speak. Like, oh, well, these dolls are great for moms who have lost babies. You know, the, and I don't think we should judge, and they're great therapy. They are great therapy. And they are great for moms or dads who have lost a baby. But that's not the only reason we collect them, and... Yes, you know, I've been through a lot of trauma in life, and these dolls are definitely a great coping mechanism for me. And yes, they're expensive, but so is anything else that you do that helps you to cope with anything. Um, if I were spending money on medication, nobody would care, and that's part of what helps me to cope with anxiety or depression then why should it matter if I spend money on the dolls? Like, why should that bother anybody? Like, why is that a big deal? Like, it shouldn't be. So, I just think that the more that we normalize this hobby and mainstream this hobby, the better. But then there's the drawback of when you do that, it becomes more well-known. And it kind of brings more scammers into the community as well because... They see the opportunity to, they think, prey on us because they think, oh, well, these women or men are in this hobby for a reason and, you know, they'll want these babies really bad and we can scam them. And, you know, some of the scammers don't even have the dolls and then other scammers have a doll, but it's not the doll that they're showing you. They'll show you a prototype picture and then what you really get is, you know, a very much lesser version or you know you'll get a replica of that particular sculpt and it's not authentic and you know and it won't be painted realistically or whatever so as far as like coping mechanisms go this does not hurt anyone and I kind of touched on you know talking about the whole session thing you know when I was talking about it you know it was box opening high, I was constantly wanting to get a new baby and yada, 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 you know, back in the day. 
But, um, yes, these dolls are expensive, but, you know, I, I wasn't letting a bill go to get a baby or whatever. I saved up or I did a layaway plan or whatever it was I did to get the babies, you know, sold older dolls in my collection to get newer dolls, that kind of thing. But we are not hurting anybody. It doesn't hurt us. Um, it's not, it's, it's, it's very benign. It's not a malignant thing. And having coping mechanisms are definitely helpful. So yeah, when you have anxiety or you have depression or you have something, uh, you know, a physical limitation, you know, you're, you're sick and maybe you're having to go to the doctor and you're having to take treatment and you're having to do all this other stuff. This is a very wonderful distraction, but it is also a really, really fun hobby and a great place to socialize and make friends because I have made so many friends in this wonderful hobby. And so I don't understand why, you know, like some people will make such a big deal about what we pay for our dolls or whatever, but these are handmade items. And a lot of times they are custom items. So you're getting them especially made to your wishes. And why not? I'm not hurting anybody. Yes, it is a, a quote unquote expensive coping mechanism, but it's a coping mechanism nonetheless. I mean, everybody has something that they use as a coping mechanism. Coming home from work and watching TV, that's a coping mechanism for stress. You know, um, it gives you something to focus on and something to do. And just like, you know, yeah, sure, I buy clothes for my dolls. Absolutely. But then, when, you know, I'm done with those clothes, and, and I hate to bring this up because I'm not that person that wants to get credit for what I do or, you know, be like, well, yes, I spend money on dolls, but I do this, this, and this. So I'm not doing it for that reason. It's for the sake, you know, I don't want a pat on the back and for everybody to say, oh, how wonderful of you. I'm doing it just for the sake of, you know, speaking on this topic that my uh, sis Ashley did. Hope these shoes fit, y'all, because, I mean, I'm holding them up to his foot. It looks like they will, but, you know, sometimes looks can be deceiving. So I'm going to stretch them out. But, you know, um, it's for the sake of this video of what it's about that I'm even bringing it up. But I donate to real babies. And I donate to, I mean, I gave a whole a family, a whole bunch of my real baby items um, last, it was either March or April. Oh, I hope these fit. They don't look, they want to fit. And then if there's more items that I want to go get, as part of my collection, a way to display my beautiful works of art, some type of little baby furniture or whatever. And once again, I'm not hurting anybody. I'm not asking anybody to pay for it. I'm not buying the, the dolls or the accessories and then getting on GoFundMe and saying, hey, can you give me some money for my light bill? You know, I don't do that. So, I mean, this is, this is a luxury hobby but it is also great, uh, a great coping mechanism. Yay, they fit, y'all, look. They're a perfect fit, but they fit. Plus, these socks are kind of thick, so. So, um, yeah, we may have expensive coping mechanisms, but so does a lot of people. I mean, those little popular side-by-side -side things that people ride, those are expensive. I mean, anything could be counted as a coping mechanism if you really want to get down to it. You know, I mean, it just depends on if it's something that you want and that's what you want to spend your money on. And, you know, you got 
You got food in your house. You have water. You have electricity. You have your rent paid. You know what I mean? Or your house payment or whatever. You got gas in your car. You're going to work. You have a job. Then why should I not be able to get something that I love because I enjoy dolls? You know, somebody else's thing might be... You know, for a long time, my husband loved to skate. He he would get skateboards and stuff, and he really liked that. That was his hobby. He really enjoyed it. You know, that's his thing. It's whatever your thing is. And the saying, you do you, boo, or whatever, you know, it really is true. So, you know, if anybody has anything to say about what you spend on your dolls, then usually my go-to thing for that person is... Malila, my go-to thing for that person is, well, do you smoke? Or do you vape? Not fussing on you, but how much do you spend on that? And then when they give me this idea, and I'll be like, I don't spend that every month on dolls. So, my hobby, I'm not even spending as much as some people spend smoking. And... I actually have something to show for it. <laughs> you know, like you you buy cigarettes or a vape or whatever and you smoke that up and it's gone. And I am not like down on anybody if they smoke or vape or whatever. I'm just saying like it's just things like that that people don't think about. They are quick to say something about what we spend on these dolls simply because it, they're dolls and we're adults. That's the main thing. It's like, why are you playing with dolls? You know, that's just weird. Or you could be spending that money on something else. Like what? A boat? A motorcycle? A side-by-side? -side? You know, I mean, like, if I was buying those things, you would be like, oh, cool. You know, like, not you as in you personally, but, like, people outside the hobby. Oh, cool. Yeah, I like that boat. Or, oh, cool. Yeah, I like that jet ski you just bought or whatever this is my hobby this is what i do and yeah i do like to do the other things <laughs> i would love to have a boat and love jet skis and and having fun at the lake and all that kind of stuff yes i enjoy those things too as well but if that's all i was doing and that was all i was spending my money on nobody would bat an eye but because it's realistic dolls then it's weird or it's inappropriate or I'm misusing my money or whatever the case is everybody has their coping mechanisms that they use things that they love that distraction that helps you to feel better at the end of the day when you're all stressed out and you come home from work and all that so my wish and my prayer for 2024 is that more people outside the hobby who don't understand or don't know why we have these dolls or whatever, that they will stop trying to understand it because they don't like it. So to them, it's senseless. Like, why are you spending this money on these dolls? It's not their thing. So they don't understand it. So my thing is... You can't make anybody understand if they, one, if they don't want to, two, if they just don't, <laughs> you know, they, if they don't get it, they don't get it. But I just hope for and pray for in 2024 that more people outside of the hobby will be more um, accepting of this is our thing, this is our niche, this is what we do, and less judgmental and be more, um, like, have a motto of live and let live because that's really what mine is. You know, I don't, if somebody has something that they do and that's their thing, I'm all for it. You like to have, you know, remote control cars. Yay. I mean, my husband is like, he was looking at this car with hydraulics and I was like, do you want that for your birthday? You know, his birthday's coming up in March. I was like, if you want that for your birthday, I'll get it. You know, like, cause I understand. I mean, be a kid. Like, you don't... I mean, be an adult when you need to be an adult, but be a kid at heart is what I mean to say. Like, um... I put this quote up on my community while here while back, and it really is true. It said, 
you don't grow old because you stop playing. Or no, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. So yeah, we have all these responsibilities and things that we have to do in life. So what's wrong with us having these cute, sweet babies? Absolutely nothing. And hopefully more people can understand that. But you know what? If they don't understand it, that's okay too. It's not their thing, but it's ours and it's not for them to understand. So we have to learn to accept that as well. Just accept that not everybody is going to be okay with our dolls. Not everybody is going to understand why we spend the money we do because they don't understand the hours and the time and that, you know, these are customized items. They don't understand the time it takes and that, that the artists are not working for some big company. You know, they, they work out of their own homes and, you know, paint these dolls. They don't have an assembly line of employees. So you're not going to pay a Walmart doll price for these dolls. And you're not going to get Walmart doll quality either. You're going to get custom made artist doll quality. That's what you're going to get. And so they may never understand it, but all we can do is hope and pray that they at least say, well, I don't get it, but you do you, boo. You do you. Live and let live. That's, I mean, that's, that's the way I see it. So, yeah, um, great topic. Ashley, thank you so much for doing it. And um, I was very happy to share and piggyback off of this topic. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I will have her original video in the comments below as well as on my wall because it's just a great video. So, um, that way I know there will be plenty of opportunities for people to go see Ashley's video. So I hope you enjoyed seeing baby Skylar. He looks so cute with his little burgundy outfit on. He looks warm and comfy because, you know, it's chilly outside because it's January and he's got his little hoodie in case he wants to put his little hood up and keep his little ears warm. So um, I'm going to sit him up real quick for y'all so you can see him with his little hood up. <laughs> Look at that sweet baby boy. He looks so cute. <laughs> love this little outfit on him the simple things just bring me so much joy all right y'all i hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you in my next one bye